are with best stocks to buy in 2020 and even if i'm honest best stocks to own in general for the months and years to come so we're going to start off with the first one ticker symbol jbl jabil inc and this one had a fall here since february it started to fall all the way till march but it has had a great recovery pretty steady with the volatility obviously up and forth up and down and it's moving forward progressively rising every time now the reason why jabil is great if we look at here at the market watch um what the analysts are saying there it's a buy the average recommendation is a buy and the average target price this is what stands out the most to me is the average target price i mean right now we are ten dollars away from that average price that's what most of the analysis are saying and also if you go ahead and do your due diligence and research i'm just here to kind of enlighten you guys on this information how this company is being overlooked by many investors and it's full of potential i mean every single analysis is saying buy or hold so in my opinion as an investor when i see a lot of of them saying okay buy and a lot of them are saying hold and there's nothing about overweight underweight or sell the ones that are saying hold you know depending on how many shares you have you go ahead and just hold through and if you want more you you go ahead and buy and if you don't have any shares well you want to become from a buyer to now a holder to go ahead and ride this wave i mean it's been rising up very healthy throughout the last couple of months all the way till present day and it's hit peaks of about 35 dollars and dipped and we're only a dollar away from that so it, it's a very healthy and steady rise now the reason why jabil is also very attractive to me which if you do your own research and check it out and you see for yourself the company is one of apple's biggest distributors like it actually has apple as their client so their largest client is apple and that's very impressive to me because when you have such a big tech stock actually having to come to you for products that means that this company is backed up by apple's growth and apple is steadily rising as well i know that it had the split and it recently has slipped away and it's been kind of very volatile up and down up and down but apple is projected to continue to grow which means by natural default as apple still being jabil's actual client it will grow with it because as apple needs more from them obviously that gives more to jabil in revenue and apple's growing as it goes through the process so jabil is actually phenomenal it's going to have a big participation as well jbl is going to have a big participation in the 5g sector and there's a lot of um what do you call it uh, articles excuse me articles about jbl and the 5g and how apple is their biggest customer and there's so much revenue to be made and growth expected for this company not only is it apple's biggest you know provider in services because they provide a service to apple and apple's one of their biggest clients but they have many other clients and they have a lot of different sectors where they play a role so there's a lot of opportunity and growth in this company and i believe this company is still undervalued due to the fact that pre-coronavirus this was up in the 40s and that's exactly the target that most analysis are giving it and it was up there it was rising on its way i mean to that point so a lot of growth is expected for jbl and i believe jbl is going to continue to prosper as long as apple is one of their biggest accounts and they continue to maintain the revenue from other accounts 
and the innovations that they are planning on doing. So I want to encourage everybody to check out some more information on JBL ticker symbol. And if you want to comment down below, you're more than welcome to. But there's a great opportunity here with the 5G sector. This is one of them that's going to benefit from those rollouts of what's about to happen as 5G is part of the innovation and changes and restructures everything about the cell phone business in the coming months and also the whole telecom and telephone business for the next coming months as well. So JBL has a great opportunity there and obviously one of their biggest accounts is with Apple and as long as they have Apple under their accounts, I mean, I don't see this company going anywhere but up and growing with Apple because Apple has so much growth to come and as the innovations continue to roll out, there's going to be great opportunities for JBL in the next coming months and maybe even years. So do your research, do your due diligence, look at as many uh, different articles as you can and look at the chart for yourself. But I am here to enlighten you guys that JBL is a great one to have in your portfolio. Now, the next one is ticker symbol T, AT&T. And I know that this one, if we look here, has actually been in a downward trend. Um, I mean, this was actually up at some higher points. I mean, it, ro it rolled up and it reached the 30s and then it started falling and we go all the way back pre-coronavirus. It was up closer to $40 at like around 37, 38 and it dipped down to $26. And we're pretty close to coronavirus times, right? Back in March when the dip happened. So we're still in corona times. <laughs> so I don't want anybody to misconstrue that. I'm just saying when the coronavirus uh, announcement had a trickle effect in March, and in March we saw many of the different sectors or the overall market start to crash. So this is back to um, March's crash and $26 was the lowest point and we recently got real close to that by a dollar away at $27.87 and a lot of investors already have taken advantage of the discount, jumped in on AT&T and have been riding this wave upwards. Well, AT&T is another great company and a lot of analysts here are actually estimating it as a hold, right? They're not really saying, oh, guys, come on in and jump on in and buy more. Very few of them have stated that. Um, some are saying it's overweight, like it's actually supposed to be worth less and that you should sell. So there's a very few of them stating that, and, and that's fine, public opinion, right? But most of them are saying hold, and there's also a larger amount of analysts saying you should buy. Well... I'm not here again in these videos to tell you to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just here to enlighten you guys on some ticker symbols that you may want to actually consider adding to your portfolio for the months, years to come. And AT&T is humongous company, and it's going to benefit from the 5G sector as well. With the whole innovation of 5G, this is another great 5G ticker symbol to consider. And yes, they're saying hold. But something that really stands out to me is whether people are saying sell or to hold, this to me screams buy because of the fact that right now, if it gets closer to $26, this is getting closer to its 52 week low and it's going to be at literally a discount, a discount because before March and that crash that we recently had earlier in the year, it was closer to $38, $39, and it hit a low of $26.08, and we're really close to it, so we're literally off by like a dollar or two, and if this was to get closer to 26, I'd be buying more, me personally as an investor. I'm not telling you guys to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just telling you how great of an opportunity to get this at the lowest price that it's been in the last year. And the average target price is showing 32 33 So honestly, there's potential for this to start to rise slowly. And another very attractive thing about AT&T is their dividend payout. 
That right there is what's also holding this up from hitting newer lows and maintaining itself. So a lot of people or investors better said are the ones that had an effect here on probably making this one rise up and fall and riding it and so forth by going ahead and taking the opportunity to make as much as they can on these rides and these waves. So here we are with uh, AT&T. Let me see if I can find it. It's giving me a hard time just with T to go ahead and put it here, but should be popping up soon on one of these. But let me see if I can put AT&T. There we go. So the ticker symbol, many people rode this wave quickly about a month and a half after the fall in March, and you could see the volatility. There was a lot of jumping in and out, uncertainty from investors, and then riding the waves and getting out. And it's been pretty leveled off till now towards the end of the year. It hit a peak only of about $31 and some change, and it fell. Now, there's a pickup again, and everybody buying in at this point are seeing it as an opportunity to get more stocks because of dividend at a great price and it's going to continue to rise from there and they see the innovation and the opportunity that this is a 5g stock so i know a lot of analysts aren't saying oh okay it's a buy buy more and so forth and the analysts here in trading view are saying sell and a lot of people are feeling uncertain probably or they're not aware or they're not seeing it the way many investors are seeing it as an opportunity. I mean, this rise here, this is telling you that there are investors that actually believe in the company and plan on seeing this go in this direction. A lot of analysts are saying up to 32 to $33. We got a long way to go till we get there. That means they'll break through 31 and reach newer highs. And that's possibly the direction this one's gonna go. Due to the fact that the 5G, right, coming up, the innovations there, um, their HBO subscriptions, that's another way of revenue that's coming in, and they're getting more subscriptions as we speak. And I mean, AT&T has great growth potential to come, and their dividend payout is phenomenal. That's one of the things that a lot of investors are liking, and that's what I'm noticing about this stock that has not allowed it to go below $26 and you could see the steadiness here even though it was very volatile and it started to slip away it's a lot more steady towards the second half of the year than the beginning because it was jumping up and down up and down due to the fact that many investors were uncertain and had fear but the one thing is that it always created a support close to $27 since the fall closer to 26 because here's 27 here's about $27 and then here again it created another support close to 27 and it's rising up again it hasn't been able to break through 27 and some change due to the fact of the investors holding because of dividends that's one of the things that's very attractive about this one this is a great long-term hold and AT&T if they continue to innovate with the way things are changing and times have changed and also take a big opportunity on taking part of the market share of the 5G sector and what's to come with 5G and changing the way technology is. AT&T is a great buy at a great price, plus their dividends and a great opportunity to go ahead and make some money off of this one. Now, let's see the last one. And the last one is one of the companies that has been overlooked the most. I've actually done a couple chart analysis on this one and I'm trying to do it as much as I can, but it sometimes is hard to do almost 10 to 20 different chart analysis um, every other two days and so forth. But this one right here is actually in a uptrend. I mean, it has not stopped. It had a slight stagnant point here when it dipped and it dipped down to $79 and some change 78 and from that point forward it has taken off and we've reached newer highs this stock has been overlooked by many investors 
they're not paying attention to this chart here and overlooking the signs of how much opportunity to make some money that there is in this one this reached highs closer to 34 almost 40 dollars before march and from march at 18 dollars all the way to where we're at now this has had exponential growth and many of the analysis are saying that this is a buy and that there is a lot of growth here now i can see why some are saying a sell due to the overweight and some are saying a hold because it can possibly continue to grow and many are saying to buy now many of them are saying to buy but a lot of them are also saying which is not a lot of them but overweight is more than the hold and the sell and there's a few of them saying you know what you you, you need to pay attention to this this is overweight why because the exponential growth has been tremendous i mean it's almost 10 times what it was worth since the fall i can understand why that could be concerning but when you go ahead and look at earnings earnings was phenomenal and earnings is expected to continue to grow as we speak and for those of you that don't know much about peloton peloton sells high-end equipment for exercise at home plus they have like these subscriptions and courses that you can go ahead and do and with the whole quarantine and the coronavirus and social distancing this stock has exploded a lot of people are working out from home they don't feel comfortable going to the gym they feel more comfortable doing this and there's a lot of cycling classes and zumba classes that people usually would do at the gym that have come to realize you know what i can do it from home they're buying the equipment they're buying the courses or subscriptions i'm not quite sure which of the two they are and this stock has done phenomenal for the year and there's just so much more growth for it because people are now realizing you know what i can actually work out from home i feel more comfortable i mean there's just so many signs that are t leading towards this company growing more and their revenue growing over time and here we are now at 107 and literally it, it's it's incredible this is after hours probably closer to eight o'clock that it closed off at 107.51 and this is what it closed off at eight o'clock after hours at 106.72 but the the one thing that's really standing out to me is the average target price to come and how peloton has actually had this exponential growth this is one that could be a little bit like they're saying uh, a little bit over over um overweight in in the sense of that's crazy growth and there could be a slight sell-off at some point but even if there was to be a sell-off we saw that effect here back in the beginning of september and it fell from 98 to 79 and from that point forward it grew so if there was to be a sell-off i can only imagine it doing this effect and honestly it would be like a healthy sell-off like we just saw and it'll fall like from 107 down to like 90 dollars and some change and continue to grow and hit newer highs in the upward direction as we saw here i mean it fell and it started to grow hit these highs it'll fall again and hit newer highs and continue to work its way up to new resistance levels and newer highs as we're seeing i mean as long as people continue to feel more comfortable at home and they rather not go to the gym and also peloton continues to do great services when it comes to their subscriptions and so forth as well as their equipment being efficient and smooth and user friendly this company has so much more potential to continue growing and working its way up that's why the overweight could stand out but it's very little amount that are saying that it's overweight and if you look at the lighter color three months ago they've been saying it they said it a month ago and they're saying it currently and all it's done is continue to grow this is the only month that i'm seeing currently that the buy rate went down a little bit and the hold actually went up basically saying go ahead and continue 
to work your way up riding this one. I mean, don't just use market watches analysis as a point of reference. I'm just using it because it's there and I'm just here to enlighten you guys and talk a little bit behind the scenes of what these companies are and why their growth will continue. But this is one of the most overlooked companies that has much more growth to go. Now, it could be overweight like it's stating there and it could have a slight sell off like we saw here. But I believe that after the sell off, people will look at it as a discount, take advantage of the price and continue to ride up the wave until maybe we get out of this full entire uh, pandemic that we're going through and people do start to feel more comfortable at gyms. But if this continues to be the way to work out and most people feel more comfortable doing their exercise, I believe they'll become a habit to continue doing this and they'll feel more comfortable doing this than going to the gyms and so forth because it takes 15 days to break a habit and it takes 21 days to build a habit. And if people have been doing this for more than 21 days, they're gonna get used to it. They might even like it more and virtually do the whole subscription fee and so forth of the services that Peloton Interactive does give. And I believe that's what the future of working out is going to become. It's gonna be virtually and from home with your personal trainer and so forth or course of whatever you guys are doing, whether it's ab workouts, riding the bicycle, um, different types of workouts, like those videos from way back. I remember the best uh, videos to watch from home that were very intense, P90X. I don't know if anybody remembers that or ever used that, but Peloton is basically doing something like that, but in a twist of bicycle riding and selling you the equipment and high-end equipment and as long as their equipment continues to be user-friendly, effective, and their subscription and also services continue to attract more people and people get used to working out from home, I can only see this continuing to rise and continuing to have excellent revenue and growth, exponential growth as we've seen in the last couple of months. So this is one to consider to add to your portfolio. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. Again, I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just here to inform and enlighten everyone on some ticker symbols that you may overlook or you know about, but you weren't too sure about it. And I'm here to kind of break it down and give you guys some more insight on why it is a good idea to add these to your portfolio at some point. And some of these, the sooner the better. And if you're still hesitant, well, then do some more research, do your due diligence and um, go from there. But again, share this with all your friends and community. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. And anybody that feels encouraged or inclined to subscribe, please do so. But don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.